What is going on guys and welcome back to another DaVinci Resolve tutorial and today we're going to take you into how I created one of the effects for my new YouTube Emotion Graphics Pack which is linked in the description if you can't be bothered, you know, jumping into Fusion and trying it yourself and it's this little notification bell ring. It's kind of cool, jumps up, ding a ling, changes color, drops down and it's a pretty simple effect to create so what we're going to do is head on over to Fusion and we're going to go new fusion composition, five seconds is fine. And we're just gonna call it notification. Cool, and we're just going to double click on that. So the first thing we're gonna do is gonna create our background and I'm gonna connect that to the media out node. Now to create the bell, all I did was sort of like trace an image. So I'm just gonna go here, we've got a couple of images of bells and drag that one in. Literally just drop it in and merge it so I can see the bell and scale it if I need to scale it. Uh, I did try it just with the image of the bell and it just didn't, getting the color change just was sort of a bit of a pain. So I just preferred, this way it was just easier. And pretty much with the background node selected, we're going to use the polygon tool. So we're just gonna click that. It's gonna add a mask, start adding a mask. And because we've got the bell on top, we can use that as our guide. So literally all I did was started right at the top and clicked. And then because I'm gonna smooth it out after the fact, I didn't use too many clicks. So I'm just gonna click there, then literally like jump all the way down there. It's okay that it's a little bit sharp because like I said, I'll smooth it out. Now where this is a nice straight line, if you hold shift and then click, it'll create a perfectly straight line. Same here, so shift, click, shift, click. Again, again, just up here. And I just tried to line it up as best as I could Honestly, because it, the graphic ended up being so small, no one's noticed, no one would ever notice unless, you know, now that I've told everyone. Cool. And then again, and I'm literally doing the same amount of clicks on each side because it just keeps it as symmetrical as possible. Okay. And so now what we're going to do is actually going to delete that bell. And we're going to select all these, drag select them all and hit shift S. What that's going to do is smooth out all those curves give it more of a bell shape. And then we're just gonna go through and just straighten a couple of them. So we're gonna select these bottom ones here, and then we've got the straight line there, and then which is Shift L, cool. And then we're gonna select a couple more, like these four here. Again, Shift L, give it some more straight edges. And honestly, that's probably pretty good. So now we have our bell looking pretty good. And what we're gonna to wanna to do now is actually, we kinda of wanna add a little bit more to the bell. We wanna do this bit down the bottom. So with the original polygon node selected, we're just going to add another polygon node. So just add one there. We're just gonna add that little pendulum thingy, I guess. And we're just gonna click, click. Again, not super important. It's gonna create, create it and we can make it as symmetrical as we want. It's not a big deal really, because then what we're gonna end up doing is grab them and just shift S them give us that pendulum look, move it around till you kind of get the right shape. I'm sure there's an easier way to do this, but anyway, I like doing this, it's therapeutic. Grab them and then we're just gonna move them so they're sort of in the center and there's our bell. So from this point, what we're gonna do, I'm gonna delete that merge node, don't quite need it just yet, is I'm gonna group these together. So drag select them all and press Command G or Control G to group them. And then I'm gonna function F2 to rename it, call it the black bell. And then Control C, and then click anywhere, control V, rename this one, the red bell. And all we need to do is change the color of the background. So go into the background, open it up, red. And we're just gonna merge this one on top of the black bell. So, and we can see now we have a nice red bell. What we're gonna do is actually on the merge node is scroll down till we see blend. And we're just gonna drag that down for now, all right? So now we've got our two bells, we wanna animate them ringing. Well, to do that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna to wanna to animate them together so that we can blend the red bell in and it's gonna be in the exact same position, which makes sense. So to do that, we're just gonna select the merge node, hit shift space and add a transform node at the very end. And that's because this transform node will control everything that comes before it. So I always like putting one at the very end and we're gonna rename it and I'm just gonna rename it my main transform and this is how I build all my graphics, is always have this main transform here. Now, thing is with this main transform is to do a rotation, if we go to the angle of it, you notice that the bell swings in the middle, 
which is not how a bell swings. We need to move the pivot point so that it swings from the top like a normal bell. So to do that, we just need to move this little green X, which is the pivot point, which is just up here in the transform option. So we can see we can move it. And all we really need to do is move it up on the wire, move it up to the top, and that's it. Now when we rotate it, it rings like a bell. Very good. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to just move forward a few frames, set a keyframe for the angle at zero, move forward a bit. I'm just nudging forward with my arrows, change the angle, move forward a bit more, change the angle again, move forward, and then have it come to zero. So now when we play this forward, we've got this little bell ring, looks pretty cool. And we can make it look even better if we go main transform to the top to the settings, add a bit of motion blur bump up the quality a little bit. Cool. Now we just want to, you know, maybe make the red bell come in. And what I would like to do is be cool if it popped in about here. So jumped in here. So we're going to go to this point, uh, maybe here. Yeah, here. And we're going to select the merge node, set a keyframe for blend, move forward one frame, and then turn it on by hitting that white dot. If we didn't hit, if we don't do it over one frame, you can actually see it grow. And I find that this way in motion looks way more believable. Like so. So you just hit the notification bell, ding, you're gonna get all notifications for your channel. And if you wanted to, you know, make it a little bit more interesting, you know, we could just shrink the whole thing down a little bit with the main transform node, move it so that it only pops up in the corner here, like so. We could even do a little quick animation at the start here where we drag it off frame, set a keyframe for the center, move forward. Then we're going to drag it up so it's on frame. So now we have this little animation like so. And we could literally just do a center, play a little bit and then drop it back out of frame. So now we have this little ding. Cool. And that's how you create a notification bell inside of DaVinci Resolve.